In this video, I will show you something that is very often ignored by medical specialists when talking about Arnold's neuralgia. Arnold's neuralgia is a compression of the occipital nerves at the base of the skull that results in severe headaches and migraines. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the posture manual and creator of three online posture programs. You see, posture is often quite visual. I mean, the nerves run through the base of your skull here and they are in pain. There are many reasons why they could be in pain. But, you know, every time you have a certain condition, you should ask yourself what in my daily activities contributes to the condition, i.e. puts oil on the fire. And here there's something that puts oil on the fire, which is neck extension. You see, when you extend the neck like I've just done, it happens mainly in the upper cervical vertebrae, precisely where the nerves in pain go through. So you can easily imagine that this will worsen the problem. When do we do that? Well, not only when we look at the planes, you know, there are many more situations in which we do this. Say, for example, my glasses keep falling, which is my case. If I want to look through the glasses, my natural reaction will be to do slightly this. I've observed recently that I really tend to do that a lot. By doing this, I'm compressing the nerves. But this is also something that you will find if you're 40, 45, 50 plus and you have progressive lenses at work. You know, most people with progressive lenses Okay, their lenses are adjusted so that this is the near vision and they have a normally adjusted screen. But you see, if this is the screen distance, well, to look at my screen, I need to do that. And therefore, I'm again with a compression of Arnold's nerve. So when you have progressive lenses, you should put the screen as low as you can and you can even potentially put it on a 3D arm so that it's even lower than a normal stand. And third important reason why you would compress a nerve, this is not reserved to people in their 50s, it's for Mr. Mrs. Everybody. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lean on my forearms. Where does my line of sight go? In direction of my keyboard. What do I need to do to look at my screen? That. And here you go with compressing the nerves, adding to that your whole upper body weight. So why do you end up like this? Many reasons. Number one, you don't have enough support in your lower back. If you don't have support in your lower back, your weight becomes heavy and at some point it needs to land somewhere. This somewhere is usually your forearms. If that's not the case, what can happen? weakness in the upper um, back, that means especially in the thoracic spine extensors, the mid-back extensors, and you will be a bit like this, and same result, slightly different from a geometrical perspective, but same result. Third reason, your desk is too low. If your desk is too low, well, of course you bend forward also, and you correct your line of sight. Fourth reason, which is far more common, is that you have put your keyboard too far forward. Many people have put their keyboard too far forward because they have some paper in front of it, be it an invoice, a CV, or whatever paper, even can be a, a, a plan for something, you know. And as a result, they end up working like this. Yeah? When you work with paper, here should the keyboard be, and here should your paper be on potentially a document holder so that it's tilted towards you. But basically bear in mind from this that every time you have your forearms on the table and your weight therefore on the forearms, you will have necessarily a correction of your line of sight that will mess up the region which is suffering from the neuralgia and therefore you will put oil on the fire. So you see, what's fascinating with posture is that what I'm talking about is actually, again, the same thing as I, I talk about in more or less half of my videos, which is this vicious cycle that when your uh, mid-back is round, your shoulders are round, 
and your head is forward. And now I'm just adding, well, when your head is forward and you correct your line of sight, you mess up the upper spine. But we're still talking about the, the consequences of this vicious cycle that is described in the video that I link in the description. And this is why your posture matters so much, is a few postural deviations will create a ton of problems that most medical doctors are not aware of or not enough aware of or don't know how to fix and therefore they treat you first with medication and then with surgery whereas there was something much more simple to do if the problem had been identified early on. So general advice, whenever you have a chronic condition, whatever it may be, start wondering what in your daily activities puts oil on the fire remove that and you will see that a big part of your chronic condition gets better. We're not maybe reaching the 100% the treatment, but we're at least facilitating the treatment massively and the result is that the intervention, the medical intervention, will be lighter if you have acted early enough.